Hi, this is Jen. Um, I wanted to record a test video with just my Samsung Galaxy S8. Um, wanted to see kind of what the quality is and like how good I am at like practicing editing a video. Um, cause this is something I want to try. Like, um, I'm really interested in, um, seeing if this is something that I'm good at and if it's something that, um, helps me make new friends and meet new people from all different places. So, um, I'm going to start with doing the new to booktube tag with this. So number one is why did you start this channel? Um, I think I kind of just said that, uh, I want to see if I can make some new friends and um, see, you know, what kind of fun things could happen. And I love talking about books. Obviously, I wouldn't be doing BookTube. Um, but, I mean, books have been really influential and important in my life. So, it's something I want to dive deeper in. Number two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? Um, so I live in Fargo, North Dakota, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> if you know the geography of the United States. Um, but I've been reading a long time and I, I find that reading is so interesting because it doesn't keep you trapped in one place. Um, it helps you get to go on adventures and get to do fun things and, um, I think I might bring an interesting perspective to that and I'm interested to see kind of where it goes with some of the books I choose to review I think might surprise some people. Um, I like a few really old ones like old romance novels as well as all the new YA that's coming out. I just have a really big range of books that I love because um, again I've been reading since I was like 13 years old and um, you know over half of my life now so it's really exciting to see maybe I want to do a lot of like retro reviews of books of like older romances and compare them with how some newer ones are written and I just have some fun ideas in place so um, number three what are you most excited about for this new channel um, I'm excited to get to share my thoughts on books. Um, I love telling my friends different stories about books. Like if I'm trying to get them to read it, I usually, I don't go into spoiler level unless they want me to. Like some of my friends like me to tell them everything in the book so they know if they want to read it. Um, but I love telling stories and um, I just think this is the perfect way to do that. Being a storyteller and getting to share what I love about books, I think that's going to be so much fun. Number four. Why do I love reading? Well, um, as with a lot of people, I mean, for me, it's just a book lets you travel places without having to leave. And I mean, um, my family, my family's amazing, but um, we weren't the, you know, richest people ever. I haven't been a lot of places, but books, you know, books don't keep you trapped anywhere. They don't um, hold you to any limits besides what the author wrote and what your own imagination is. Um, so that's that's amazing. So, um, that's why I love them. Um, number five, what book or series got you into reading? So when I looked at this question, I kind of had to laugh because I mean, I've been reading, um, since I was like 12 is when I got really serious about it. Um, it's when I really got serious and my like reading level really kind of bumped up. I skipped a couple reading grades, um, in school cause I just got a passion for it. But I guess what really got me as avid as I am, um, it's so cliche, I feel bad saying it, but it would be the Twilight series. Um, that was when I joined a couple of reading groups at my school and it's what kind of everyone was reading and it was the hot thing. But after I read it, like I didn't, that wasn't enough. I was like, so I read a lot of other stories along that genre, which got me into the YA and then, um, got me into other kinds of romances and me and my best friend from high school, which, um, hopefully, um, you'll see this. Hi, you know who you are? My best friend from high school that we read our books together. Um, I don't want to say anybody's names yet. I'm too new to this to start like name dropping people or whatever. Um, but, but we would pass like romance novels back and forth and we'd discuss them and just ogle over them and, and yeah, but yeah, Twilight, Twilight's what really got me into reading consistently all the time because it was such a like simple story. And I mean, that's, critiques people offer all the time is how like simple it was and like that it isn't well written but it was enough to get me hooked so I'll always have a place in my heart for those books um no matter what's said about them now because 
I owe like everything else I've read really to those books because nothing had really caught me that way before. Number six, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um, uh, just like how they say consistent. Like I know um, sometimes inspiration can be hard. I, I follow, I mean, I follow the big three in, in booktube as I'm sure a lot of you do. Like I follow Christine um, Ratio and um, Jesse the Reader and Catastic and um, Natasha Opolis. Like those are my favorite booktubers. So I'd ask them like what helps them stay motivated and um, like how they read through slumps because that's something I've went through, which is also I'm excited to do this because I'm a really like um, detail motivated person. So I think um, I'll be really encouraged to um, read when I know that I have someone to share them with. Um, but I'd like to know what like keeps them going. Number seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Um, probably at this point, my like technical skills aren't super high. So um, like I'm really nervous about like editing and uh, uh, making things look good, which is why I'm kind of going to I'm going to be using my as of now for now, I'm going to be using my um, phone for everything I have a uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and they I've heard really good reviews about their camera and I'm I don't plan to put a ton of money into this right now it's just something I want to do for fun and I'm not you know looking for anything more than that but to have some good conversations and to talk with people who love books as much as me so um but I think that will be difficult so that'll be a challenge for me to edit things and put them together so number eight when did you start reading Oh, well, this one, I kind of already said. I, I mean, I've been reading, oof, forever. I mean, when my parents, my parents would always read to me since I was super little. They, that's, that's where I get my love of reading. I always say I got my love of reading fast from my dad because he'll just power through a book until he's done. Like, he would start, a, a, a like, he would read lots of John Grisham and, uh, like, thrillers like that. And he would start one, um, and he would stay up until he'd finish reading it. So I get that from him. Um, but my, but he wouldn't like consistently read. He would just, when he wanted to read, that's how he would read. So I get my like speed reading from him. But my mom, she always would read a book every night before she went to bed, whether it was for 10 minutes or an hour. She read every day. So um, when I, like I get my consistency of reading from her is what I think. But anyway, they used to read to me all the time and they'd take me to the library to pick out books. And soon they just got like longer and longer books and they'd be like, well, now you read to me because <laughs> now you know what's happening. So you read to me. And, um, and once I could read to them, then they're like, well, now you can read to yourself. You don't need, you don't need us to read to you anymore. So, but yeah, I've been reading since I was little, but like you said, when I really got into, um, like deep, deep into it, it would be middle school going into high school. Um, I just, I read everything in our school library. It had a really small, like young adults, um, part to it. The, the high school section, um, uh, Mr. Sandin, high school librarian. He was the best. Oh, so many good books you got for me. He always brought me, he always would tell me when the best stuff came in right away. He's amazing. Um, but yeah, number nine, where do you read? Well, um, I love reading at the coffee shop. I love reading at Barnes and Noble. I live like right behind one in uh, in the town that I live in, and it's since I've moved to this spot, living right behind the bookstore. Oh my gosh, I spend so much on books every month. It's so bad. Like this is just one of my bookshelves. I actually just bought this one, but I have I have bookshelves everywhere. Like I'll just show you real quick. Like these are some of my bookshelves. And then I have one over there, and I have one in my room, too. Oh, I just have so many books. Um, but I like to read on my big, comfy couch. This is Bob, my big, comfy couch. He's amazing. This is the comfiest couch ever. Um, but my thing is that I read anywhere. That's who I was in high school. There are so many pictures in my high school yearbook of me reading. I would read at choir practice. I would read... Um, at track practice I would bring the book out on the field and like read in between doing our stuff um, I would read on the bus I would read everywhere but nowadays I like reading on my big comfy couch or at the coffee shop with a um, iced chai latte mm, so good and number 10 what kind of books do you like to read oh this is such a good question um, I'm not a book snob there are very few genres I don't like um, 
I love, I love YA. I love, um, fantasy and science fiction and I love romance novels historical romance especially I love um Christian fiction I love um yeah historical fiction I love um right now I mean my biggest passion would be young adult fantasy um a lot of the books I'll view are that but I have a real a real love for um for romance too because that. I mean, that's what gets me excited about reading all the different stories and the different characters and um, how their lives come together. Um, but yeah, I mean, you'll you'll see. We'll talk about all kinds of books. I read so many kinds. And really, for me, it's about the characters. If the characters are good, I'll read it, whether it's set in 18th century France or 200,000 years in the future. Like, it doesn't matter to me as long as the characters are good and the author has something to say. I'm in. So next time I promise to be more put together and have a steady cam for my camera. Um, but I just wanted to get this out of the way because I'm really excited to try this and I don't know what's going to come of it or what's going to happen, but I'm just so excited. If you're new to BookTube too, um, I'll put the tag down below because that's a thing you could do on YouTube. This is going to be so crazy because I don't know anything about doing this. But I'm going to try because I think it's going to be fun for my friends who I don't live by anymore who like still read. This will be such a good way for us to connect. So whether you're seeing me because I'm that crazy girl who read books that you knew in high school um, from Pillager, Minnesota. Hello, Pillager, Minnesota. To, um, you know, if you know me from work or know me from wherever, um, feel free to say hi. Um, I'm just so excited about this. So... Thanks so much for your time and uh, I'll see you next time.